everybody. Jeff Williams here with AskJeffWilliams.com. Woohoo, I know. It's hot today. It's almost time to retire the old Buckskin Joe shirt. Okay, what are we doing today? Well, today, uh, as you can see, we come back to the old gold mine and we decided to open up uh, that little hole that we made into the stove of the old workings down there from the old 1850s. And uh, we noticed that the vein keeps going at a 45 degree angle. So we decided to open this up so we could get some buckets in there, crawl in there and do a little hard rock mining ourselves. Because the uh, limonite still has gold in it, some good values, but the old timers must have thought it wasn't enough, so they left it behind for us. Thanks, old timers. Anyway, you can see where the limonite keeps traveling along uh, on this vein, and you can see where they backfilled some of this, but come here, take a look at this. I want to show you this. You can see uh, where they were digging it out here. That's where they backfilled. And uh, here's that limonite right up in there. See that? Goes up around the corner there. That's all that rich limonite that has all that gold in it. And here's that thick vein that travels down at a 45 degree angle. And here's some of that old decomposing granite uh, that they backfilled this in with. As you can see, it keeps on going back in there. So we'll clear that all out. Get some of that gold. Uh, so you can see those beautiful veins of limonite traveling at a 45 degree angle. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna continue to open this hole up and that way it'll be easier to get buckets in and out of there so we can haul more in and out and then we'll completely remove that vein. But for right now, we got ah, five buckets worth. And I know there's good gold in there because we've already sampled it. And so what we'll do is we'll take it back to the house and we'll crush it all up to get every speck out. So let's go! Ah. Oh man, I tell you what, I don't know if these buckets are getting heavy or if I'm getting older, but man, hey, this sure will test your metal. Anyway, so what are we doing? Well, we got our five buckets here, and what we're going to do is we're going to run through the old trusty dusty trommel, and we're going to use the machine to classify this material out, and we'll collect up all the chunks that don't pass through uh, into the bucket over there, and we'll grind that up later, but for right now, I want to see how much gold's in here. So we're gonna run it through right now and get some gold, so here we go. Trommel shut down. I want to explain a couple things to you because I think you should know. Um, we designed the header box and the mid stage section on this trommel ourselves. Um, I just wanted to go over something real quick with you. Uh, what we've used is we've got the blue miner's moss up there at the top. Underneath that, we got the deep V matting. Look at that, that'll catch anything. And of course, on top of that, we've got expanded metal. Make sure your riffles are sitting the right way. Anyway, we got that all set up in the header box. And down here in the midsection, and of course we're using a keen sluice down here for the finer gold. And no matter if it's a, a big multi-billion dollar corporation or just a small two-man job like this, you've got to have a series of systems set up to trap your fine gold, of course your large gold and your coarse gold. And when you're done, you're going to have to do a cleanup just like the big boys do in a bucket, clean everything out thoroughly, and then pan it down. But that's how it works. And I thought you guys might want to see how we designed our trommel. So, Hopefully we got some gold in here. So here we go! Okay, so what I'm doing is I washed the header box out and I got a gold pan here to catch everything that flows out. 
And what this does is it gives us a snapshot of what's going on inside the trommel. So if I find gold in here from the header box after we've done a cleanup, I know there's gold in that bucket. So that's why I'm curious to see what's in here. Okay. You know, go ahead and clean that up. Try to get that up to the top of the pan for you. There you go. Still got a little bit of iron in there, but come here, take a look at this. Tell me what you think. Now, that's a rough cleanup. Right there. Not too shabby for about five buckets, huh? Actually, it's not even five because uh, some of those still have to be crushed. But you can see some of that beautiful looking gold in there, huh? Ooh, if that don't make you happy, nothing will. I like that. So there you have it. There's gold in that limonite. And uh, the problem is, is that it's really super fine and you gotta be really careful uh, when working with gold that fine. So we'll use jet dry or some type of a detergent in the water and with the trommel. That way it doesn't float right on out because gold will literally float on top of that water if you don't break the surface tension. So I hope you've enjoyed today's episode of getting more gold out from our secret gold mine. And as always, don't forget to rate, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to leave me a comment because I read every one and I try to reply to all of them. So anyway, until next time, this is Jeff Williams with AshaWilliams.com saying you better get out there and get the gold before you get to be too old. <laughs> Take care.